Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be going through how to install Fedora 30 Workstation. We'll first download it, then I'll explain how to flash it onto a disk, we'll boot the disk, and finally run through how to install it on an empty storage space of your choice. If you're new and stopping by to watch an install today, please take a moment to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more installs. So let's go ahead and start the download. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the uh, getfedora.org website. I'll put a link in the description below for you. Uh, this one's very simple. All you got to do is scroll down about not even a third of the page and you'll see the uh, Fedora Workstation Official Edition. Uh, this is 30. They actually have a beta release. So you can also download this as well if you want to just give it a try. The install would be very similar. So what we'll do is uh, download the stable version here by hitting download now. And then you have uh, two options, it looks like, the Fedora 30 x86 64 DVD ISO. So this is for 32 or 64 bit. Uh, they also offer this uh, Fedora Media Writer. I haven't tried this before. It might be worthwhile using. I like using the Belena Etcher app instead. It kind of shows you uh, some information here at the bottom about it. And it's available for Mac and Windows. Anyways, we'll go ahead and hit the download here link. Fedora or getfedora.org access your browser so it can download. Yeah, I'm gonna allow that. And then our download has started. Now that I've downloaded the ISO, I'm going to launch the Belena Etcher app in order to flash the image onto a USB or CD of my choice. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below if you wanted to go ahead and download this app. So the first thing is to select the image that we just downloaded. So right here, you can see Fedora Workstation Live. That's what I'll select. Go ahead, open that up. And then for a target, we're gonna go ahead and insert a USB into the computer. So if we do that, it should pop up real quick. Give me one second. All right. See, when I inserted the USB, it went ahead and populated that by itself. If you have multiple USBs in, you can go ahead and change which one to put it on. Uh, you can also flash it on CD, DVDs. Uh, and after this, all you'll have to do is hit the flash button. It might ask you for a password in order to confirm you want to flash. And go ahead and give it that. And this will create a bootable disk that we can now place in the desktop or laptop of our our choice and install Fedora 30 workstation on it. Fedora OS is an independent distro that Red Hat owns. Red Hat is also very known for being a fairly stable system and being on the cutting edge of development. They're also known in the server space so if you run any kind of a server you might want to go ahead and try their server edition instead of the workstation. Workstation is more their desktop version and is meant for everyday users instead of the ones that use it for very specific operations. What we'll do after this is done flashing and verifying its flash is take the USB, put it in whatever computer that you plan on installing Fedora 30 Workstation on, Fedora 30 Workstation on, and putting it into that computer. And what you'll do is first boot into your uh, BIOS. So make sure to research what keys will get you into BIOS while you're booting up. So those first thing, as soon as your computer comes up, you'll spam some keys, it'll get you into BIOS. In BIOS, you'll find a tab um, that is very similar to boot order, or it might even be called boot order. You'll go ahead and switch the boot order so that the USB or CD that you're flashing this image on boots first and once you have that you can go ahead and save and exit out of your bios and you'll go ahead and start up the bootable disk and you'll see something very similar to this if everything has booted successfully you should see a screen very similar to this and the selection that we'll go ahead and make is to test the media and start fedora if you went ahead and made it this far please hit the like button it really does help me out it's going through a couple checks here it's going to take a moment and basically, once this is all done, we'll boot into the uh, live disk uh, so you can kind of emulate what the workstation will look like. But instead of doing that, of course, we will install it so it's uh, permanent. 
And once we are in the live image, you have two choices to try Fedora. If you'd like to try it before you install it, go ahead and select this option. You can always install it after the fact. And then uh, since we are sure we want to install it, we will click the second option, install one hard drive, and let this load the installer. First thing to select is what language you want to run the installer on. Uh, mine will be English and then I'll hit continue at the bottom. Following this, you get to select a few options. You've already selected the keyboard. You can click the time date and select a time date. Today I will be in New York. That seems a little strange. That doesn't seem like New York. I would have thought New York is kind of further over here on the east, but that's fine. And once we're done with uh, selecting our time zone, we can hit done. You can see there's a little yellow exclamation point here so let's go ahead and click on it and uh, it basically automatically selected a hard drive but you'll want to go ahead go in here and make sure that it is the correct hard drive that you want to partition uh, because you will be erasing everything on that hard drive so make sure you have uh, a hard drive or an SSD that is completely free there's no uh, information on it that you need and uh, because well, because it will be erased by this uh, installer here. If you got some network disks, you can add those disks right away. Uh, then you have uh, what type of storage configuration you want. Automatic is fine for us since we're beginners. You can also encrypt your data, uh, but we won't select this option today. We're just doing a generic workstation install today. So you get to select your disk by clicking it up here and you can double click it once you have this check mark that means that you have selected this so go ahead and make sure you select the correct disk you might have multiple if you have multiple disks in your computer select the one that you want to install fedora on mine's this one and i only have the option of this one because i only have one hard drive available in my computer i'm going to go ahead and select done after this and just give it a moment here while it verifies things after that, go ahead and begin the installation. And Fedora Workstation will start installing at this point. So give it a few minutes here. It's installing some software and getting some things ready for the base system. Once the installer is finished, it'll tell you that it's complete, and it tells you to go ahead and reboot to start using it. Hit the quit button here, and we'll simply just go ahead and reboot the system here. So restart. You'll want to make sure you removed any and all boot media out of your computer, or else you'll just boot right back into your live disk. Here we go, you get the welcome page. Congratulations, you've installed Fedora 30 workstation on your computer at this point. Let's go ahead and go through all this stuff. Um, this is really just a post setup. You'll want to uh, kind of set up an account here. So Savvy Nick, my username will be Savvy Nick. I'll go ahead and continue on here. It's gonna ask for a password, so put in a password for that user. Um, and then we'll go hit next and uh, it says you're ready to go start using it All right it might take a moment here so it sets things up now we have it installed and it gives you the getting started screen so it just tells you how to use some stuff you can go through this or you can check out my review and walkthrough uh, i have another video on this um, check out my youtube channel for it i'll also put a link in the description below we'll go ahead and exit out just kind of look at the activities here you got your applications and more applications if you select uh, this grid array here of dots. And that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed this installation. If you enjoyed this install tutorial, please like, comment, subscribe below. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you can go ahead and follow me along when new videos come out for installations and reviews. 
Thank you for watching today, and I'll catch you in another video.